What is up guys? Today I'm taking you through my full weekly running vlog. This week I'm running 19 miles in preparation for my first half marathon. I'm gonna show you all four runs, the thought process, the mileage, show you why we're doing each run, the distance, why we're doing things specifically that way, and take you through the full week of running. Without wasting any time, let's hop into Tuesday's run, which is the longest run of the week with an eight mile run. All right, so today is a little bit more of our longer run. So today's Tuesday. We're gonna do an eight mile run today. So over the course of the half marathon prep, this is the run that builds from week to week. So we're doing eight miles today. It is about 10 o'clock in the morning. It's a, it's a little warm, a little humid, but not gonna stop us. We are gonna be running with some water and electrolytes. And then we're also gonna be doing a gel pack about halfway through something just to keep the performance up, keep a high intensity um, about halfway through is when you're going to start to feel a little bit and you're going to start to have your energy drop doing some sort of quick carbs like a gel pack or gummy bears or something is going to help you keep that pace up keep your energy up so eight miles a day or to get more or to get into it All right, so we just finished that eight mile run. That was a tough one. It was a uh, little warm, but you know, you can never control your your environment. Some mornings I have gap in schedule where I can get up around in the morning, but most times I'm running kind of midday. So you have to do whatever you can do. Humidity was a factor, but it's something you just gotta go through and, and uh, push through it and just makes it a little bit more challenge. It was a good run, paced hard through six and then on seven, I tried to pace it a little bit too hard, and then eight, I kind of fizzled out. But overall, just a good run. This is the longest distance run of the week. Um, for this week, we're building each week in the program leading up to the half marathon. So, got that one out of the way. It was a good one. What is up guys today we are about to do a five mile run so I just got done with a little bit of strength training Today is the one day in the program where I have to do a little bit of strength training and I also have to run as well. So it's one of those things where prep for half marathon, I have to run after my strength training. Ideally, in an ideal world, you would split it up to where you would run in the morning, lift in the afternoon, but when you're running a business and you have kids, sometimes it doesn't always work like that. So just finish up some strength training and I'm about to go for a five mile run. All right, so just finished up that five mile run finished it i ran about average nine minute mile pace after that eight mile run yesterday my legs are feeling a little heavy a little slow but overall just kept a good pace and really worked on building that aerobic base and these runs are getting better guys from week to week i'm super excited for this for this half marathon except the half marathon is going to be on october 15th so putting in a lot of work to prepare for that not just show up on the day of the race but to show up and perform and challenge yourself and do your best I've always been someone that I would rather go the extra mile beforehand and show up prepared rather than just kind of wing it and show up and hope for the best. So we're putting in that work, putting in miles every week, but as you saw today, still prioritizing strength training. So I'm still strength training four times every week and I'm running four times every week. Um, mileage is increasing from week to week. So second run of the week down, we got two to go. All right, so today's Friday and we are going on a three mile run. Now, the goal of today's run is to run slower to run faster. So a lot of times people think that they need to go out every run, balls to the wall, run as hard as they can. They have that kind of strength training mentality. But when you're running, 
you need to develop not only your higher intensity and your anaerobic threshold and more of your anaerobic high intensity side of, of your cardiovascular system, but also you need to optimize your aerobic energy system. And how you're going to do that is at lower to moderate heart rates. So today's run, it's a three mile run. The goal is to pace it not super fast, just kind of find a pace that I can stay consistent with the entire three mile run. I'm going to do it outside today and just enjoy the run. And that's going to help you improve your aerobic base, which is going to help you improve your aerobic cardiovascular system, which is going to help you become a better, more efficient runner. So three mile run, let's get after it. All right. So it's currently Sunday. Today is the one day a week where we're doing a higher intensity workout. So we're doing some tempo runs today. I did a video a couple weeks ago about tempo runs and far like intervals. The idea behind this is this is going to help you increase your pace, get used to running faster paces, and it's going to translate over into running faster miles, especially in your distance runs. You can't just log more miles and expect to get faster. So tempo runs today, we're going to do four rounds of five minutes at a really challenging pace, faster than what your normal mile pace would normally be. You're going to rest two minutes. You're going to repeat that three more times for four total sets. I'm going to try and hold a six minute mile pace. I'm going to be running on the assault runner bro. Um, so I'll be able to see my, my real time of what my mile pace is, but four rounds, five minutes on two minutes rest running at a faster pace than you're normally running to. Like I said, this is going to help you get used to running at faster paces. It's going to help you improve that mile time and translate over into those longer runs to help you become just more efficient of a runner. So if you guys enjoyed that video or found anything helpful, hit that thumbs up button for me. And if you made it this point in the video and you haven't done so already, make sure you subscribe to the channel. I'm posting content every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday to help you get in the best shape of your life and show you how I'm currently training hybrid style where I'm strength training each week, but also mixing running in to train for my first half marathon. I'm going to leave a couple other videos to go watch on the screen next. Make sure you go check those out and I will see you guys in the next one.